Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skyline. So in the last episode we built ourselves a, you know, relatively small farming community. Uh, it's going to take an absolute shit ton of work for it to actually look good because it's just oh, it's so large. Uh, but we also did get ourselves a, why is it that my uh, mouse wheel never really works? Hey, cows. My ones that I placed over here never ended up coming in, but at least we got some there so it doesn't look as weird. Uh, but yeah, so we got a ranch and we got ourselves a small farm over here. Surprisingly, these bushes are horrible for frame rate, uh, which I didn't know, but that's fine because as long as we're far enough away, they're not a problem. It's just being close is. Uh, but yeah, so we got river networks up and running. It's nighttime now, so that makes things difficult. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning. For tornado the warning. It's at 3.6. <laughs> huh. Not how I plan to start. I, hopefully it doesn't destroy all this. Uh, I'd be okay later in the game if we have tornadoes actually making a mess, but not quite right now. I'd prefer not. Uh, but yeah, so we got three rivers up and running, a large one, two smaller ones. Uh, this whole area in here is going to be farming community. Uh, but, you know, it's we, for one, ran out of money, so we need to get a lot more money coming in to fund all of that. Uh, but I'm looking at the best way to do it is actually we can just let this run and keep an eye out. Uh, the best way to do it is probably the tornado has touched down in the area. Seek shelter immediately where is available. As long as it's not here, I don't care. Uh, and I do oh there it is. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna end up having to do is probably once we get a whole bunch of money in the bank, uh, we'll do a super duper long episode where we do all of the farming area all at once. Just because it is very time consuming and also uh, quite expensive. And what's your issue? Not enough raw materials. Uh, we can fix that. Uh, we're going to want this and this and larger and make sure that's there. Yeah, there you go. There shouldn't be any trees or anything that would be stopping that from functioning, but apparently it is. Uh, what's your issue? So why? It's there. But what? Oh, you need crop shit. Well, that shouldn't be a problem because we do have some crops coming in. Yeah, I didn't think about that part of it. Um, I didn't know that they'd need that. Uh, well, we're not going to worry too much about it. They, they'll get imports and stuff. It'll just take a little bit. Uh, I also got rid of that dummy traffic that we had. Uh, so, you know, you can see it's already significantly less stupid for uh, traffic than it was, you know, when we started. Uh, but yeah, so the plan for today is we are going to be getting a, another population center up and running. Uh, that way we can help feed all these farms and we could run this quick. That way daytime could come. Uh, yeah, that way so we can feed uh, the farming areas with some people. Uh, so we do currently have a road coming up this way. And I would like that to meet up with this highway that's here. Not that we could see shit. This is why I don't like nighttime. Because when you're trying to do new areas or anything in general, it looks nice. But it's just a pain to build with. Uh, so we're going to be grabbing ourselves a standard road. So this is going to be coming into the highway. Uh, but we want to do it in a way where I can fucking see. Daytime, please. Thank you. That's good enough. We'll pause it for a sec. Actually, we'll let it run. Um, this river also ended up emptying out pretty quick. That could be an issue. So we'll probably have to make this larger. I actually don't know why it drained itself completely. Why do we not have water flow? Over here is nice and high. There shouldn't have been that much evaporation. It is consistently going down as we go. So it must be the evaporation. Um, what's going on with water at the edge here? It's working. It's flowing. It just It does just evaporate. Is there a waterfront? I'll let it do its thing and see if it, uh, if it'll fill in over time, but that should be working. Should be being the keyword, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so, if we're going to have a farming community. So, this is going to be, well, this one anyway, is going to be near the edge of where the farms are. Uh, so, this forest, for the most part, is going to be coming right up against this river. Um, so what we can do is say this spot in here and across here, this could be a community that will help feed all of these farms. Uh, so we'll go from here and uh, we're going to take a squirrely road uh, and that can just kind of make its way 
can be our main road that's going to be coming in. And then obviously we do need to get a bridge in. Uh, so we'll take it straight across here. Uh, so we can go to here. And then that's not going to do it because there's not enough water for it to register. Uh, so we're going to have to manually raise it, which isn't a big deal. Uh, so that should be about adequate. And we'll go back down to ground level, of course. Uh, and yeah, that'll do. The water is coming back. Uh, did we just end up really warm and the evaporation kicked into high gear? Because it does seem to be filling back up. It's okay. We won't worry about it. Uh, worst case scenario, we have to redo some stuff. Uh, so, we're going to want this at... Uh, straight relative to that. So, as long as that's 180, we should be good. Uh, and then that's obviously our highway that's going to be feeding from the edge all the way in. Yeah, that river shit. Is that something we're going to have to do? What I don't get is why this here is having such a hard time. This should have stayed fairly full. I've done a lot of uh, rivers and stuff already. Man, nighttime already? I've done a lot of rivers and stuff already. I've never had that much evaporation happening. And it's only 13 degrees, so it's not really... I don't know if temperature actually affects evaporation. You would think so, but you never know. Either way, um, so... What we're going to be doing is a fairly good-sized population center. Right now, they're not going to really have work, uh, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But as long as we just keep the game running, we'll have enough money. And then maybe next episode, I'll spend a couple hours and get a big farming thingy done. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, so this is... How do we want to go from here? So it's going to be relatively good size. We don't want it massive. But probably somewhere along that size... Um, so we can bring this along the river, and we are also going to want to get, uh, trees and stuff in. Uh, we can work off of approximately here, so that they back off onto the river. Also, probably a little bit larger than we need, just in case we do need to expand the river. Uh, we can also just add in some water sources to help keep things moving. Uh, preferably not, because it would be nice for all the water to, you know, come from the edge of the map. Uh, except for ponds and lakes and stuff, but if we all, you know, do what you have to do to get what you want done. Uh, so, either way, uh, let's get this coming in. So, how far out do we want? Um, get this kind of coming out to around here, and then we'll have it wrap around. Uh, we're probably going to want a bridge, and then we are going to do the... I never did end up doing it over here, but some round uh, cola sacks like that are nice. Uh, so we can bring this to here, then we'll bring that over the river, and it's not going to do it automatically. So once again, we'll do this ourselves. Uh, I might turn off day-night cycle. I really don't like it for general gameplay. It's nice for time lapses and stuff, but general gameplay, it just kind of drives me freaking insane. Uh, because you can't really see well enough at night for it to be worth doing. Uh, okay, and then we can grab that. We'll uh, you know, bring this in to about there. So that will be the edge. And we can go this side as well. Um, yeah, we'll go straight for a bit. So we can do three. Just kind of wrap that in as well. Right, let's have it go kind of like that. And then a little bit further this way. Uh, don't want it too large. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We go something like that. Yeah, definitely I'm going to need to fix this river, though. It doesn't seem to want to flow properly. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. It's just one more thing that needs doing. Uh, and then we'll fix that with move it as well. Uh, okay, and then we can do... Across here. Uh, so these aren't going to be zoned on this. We're going to have it so there is the river up against the road on this side. I can just kind of wrap its way in, and that has that connector over there. Um, it is going to end up fairly large. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal, because everything eventually will end up getting a lot larger. Uh, so we can grab a straight road, and we'll work from here. I, rain also doesn't uh, cause water to collect any faster, does it? See? <laughs> Apparently, the bridge is stopping water. Um, okay, we'll deal with that in a sec. 
Yeah, we'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, so, we can have this coming in like this. Uh, we'll bring that to about here. Then that could come in. Uh, no, shit. Shit. I clicked it, and now it's on forever. Okay. Whatever. Ah, I just reloaded two, and I got rid of it, obviously, with the reload. But, you know, whatever. It happens. Uh, and then from there, that's good. Uh, we'll work off of that a little bit, too. Uh, and then from here, we're going to have this coming up this way as well. Uh, so that can come... Let's have a slight grid coming in here so I can go there. And we'll have that go squirrely. Don't think too hard about anything. Uh, so I can come off that way and then we could have another connector to the highway. And yeah, we're going to turn off the day-night cycle. Fuck that. Um, that is under gameplay. No more day-night. There you go. Beautiful. Now we can actually see. Uh, now we got a water issue here. You're not a problem. That flow's no problem. So why is this one causing a problem? Is it... Let's, uh, delete that. Are you the problem? Yes. That pillar, for some reason, was stopping it. Okay, so we'll see how this river pans out. Uh, and then how's this one looking? Dead. Completely dead. Um, see, I do plan on some ponds and stuff along here. We might have to get that going to help keep this fed. And this is still going to be a problem anyways. Uh, and what we could also do is... No, we can't. I was going to say, we could try to raise the sea level a little bit more, but it's already high. If we go any higher, it's just going to cause problems. Over here is staying fed nicely. Surprisingly, it is flowing, considering it's not flowing into anywhere. So, maybe evaporate. Oh, whoa. Oh, that must have got struck by lightning. That's not a problem. Um, that's something we're going to have to get forest fire protection up and running too. That's fine. Ooh, what's happening here? Uh, this is sick. Dead person. Oh, we have no dead people management. Um, yeah, that's probably a problem. So, we'll have to go with a base cemetery. Oh, no, we got the funeral homes. Okay, so we'll go funeral homes for now. Uh, so you guys are going to need one, and we'll probably want to extend its range too. That way it's not super silly. Uh, and then that's going to be going off that away. So we could have it as a spot right here. So, for one, extend its range. Uh, so that's death care radius of 800. We'll go 1600, double it, get quadruple the area out of that. Uh, and then we're going to need to do that again, because we need more than one. Uh, now we are very shortish on money. In the grand scheme of things, of course. Uh, so then you guys are going to need one as well. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> it's a little bit worse than I was thinking. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to get one over here too. And you guys should be able to manage all that, I hope. It's going to take a while. I'm surprised our population hasn't taken a huge hit. Alright. I'm hoping if this water makes it, it'll help fill this in, make it bring up to a higher capacity. We'll see. There's, there's a lot of different little things we can do to improve the situation. Uh, but I just want to keep a consistency on things flowing in properly uh, without it being weird. Uh, but, okay, so we're going to want to get all this in. Uh, and we might also do a little bit over on this side too. So it's not like we just go up against that and it's done. Um, so we can fill in these areas. Uh, so this can come into there. We'll have this one come up to about there. Then we'll curve that in nicely. And then from here, uh, so we're going to want some... Well, see, that's the thing. We have... You know, a small township surrounded by forests and stuff. 
you don't really need parts for the most part because like we could do some pathways and stuff into the forest that way we have some like over here is going to have some pathways and stuff probably one kind of going along here a nice trail uh but you know inside the community itself you don't really need a park because it's kind of the whole thing's kind of park like um but we can also grab something like from here. Uh, do we want some space between this road and what we're actually doing? Probably. Uh, so we can grab this kind of coming along here. Now that's going to be working 45 off of that. Let's get this set up first. Uh, so we could do that and we'll do another one here. So how's that measure out? Uh, right up against it. Okay. Uh, what we could do... Why? Is it that you're in the way? You are in the way. Oh, also, does my hotkey work? Nope, still broken. I have no idea why Bulldoze isn't doing bulldozy things. Uh, so what we could do is, in here, we could have this go in and have our cola sacks. So that would actually have to go into, like, there. Uh, then we could have this one kind of wrapping... Up around that way give us some space in here well, actually, we could actually connect that through as well um, do we want to do that one or that one we could do that one that way we could use in here for a school area yeah uh, so then we could have a cold sack there and then we could do a crescent right over in this area and by crescent we could actually just bring ooh that's quite a bit of green space there um, so, is there a way that would logically make sense to have a pathway? That way we could have, like, a trail run through this. So if we do something like that, and then we grab ourselves a trail. Uh, do we want a gravel path? Well, we could have it, so, inside its pavement. Uh, so we could run something like... Uh, let's grab squirrely path as well we can run a path to get through can we get off snapping please thank you oh much better uh so we could have this kind of run in through here um we're not going to be able to do a crosswalk right there i don't think there's actually a way for us to do that we could pretend though use our imaginations uh and then that can go off into well that's gonna be farmland so there's not really a point uh but we can make it so it goes oh that's a highway they don't have walkways or bike paths or anything like that. Ah, we could end it right there then. Uh, so then this can come in through like this. And again, we're going to have an imaginary crosswalk or they go walk around it. And then the school area will end right up against this. We'll have that kind of come through here again. Invisible walkway. And go to here. We'll go over. Are you going to bridge nicely? Nope. Uh, so we want to go something like that. Hopefully that's not going to screw the water up. There's something that just complained over there. Hopefully it's not a big deal. I guess we'll find out. Uh, zero height, please. So that could come in right about there. And then we're going to want to get this area done. But we could have it so it kind of comes in through here. And then, you know, walk... It'll be like a trail that comes in through here. Uh, then it comes into this. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do it. So we go from here. And of course, you're not going to like that. Over a tiny bit, please. So then we could have a path that kind of comes around here. Not right up against the water, but you know, to some degree following it. And we'll have this go all the way around to this other side as well. Uh, which is right about here. So we could have that enter preferably a little bit more on par. Now that's going to be our road. So we can have that. Here, let's get that road in too. Um, because that's going to be connecting up to somewhere right in there. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, so we can grab that. We're going to want snapping. That way things line up somewhat reasonably. Uh, and that could basically just come in straight. Okay, uh, and then we need uh, back over to the pathways. So, and that needs to connect up to there. And then from here, 
we can have it so uh, where do we got this going so that's coming in through here we can have it so it kind of cuts across here across here that way they could just kind of go through nature themselves or we could have it come this way because all right here is going to be forest anyway uh, have it come along the river a bit and then come down through the center here that way it meets up here and then if you want to take that you come you know walk through the town uh, or uh, let's actually branch off of here as well if it'll let us I can kind of come off like that again invisible connectors uh, and then we could have this path kind of just go through the forest just nice walk through the woods and take the long way around the community we have built and then from here so we can have this go hmm. that right there kind of makes a mess uh, that's not being used come in through here okay so that comes right through here and that will just kind of go along the river because again we're not really going to use this space for anything not for a while anyway eventually these cities or towns will uh you know expand and grow as oh shit we have a big forest fire okay well let's deal with that i guess um so <laughs> uh this can come probably into the industrial area would also help uh, so i can kind of meet its way without snapping into there and then that's going to want to come across to here as well uh so can we sneak this in between them i don't know if it's going to destroy it but i guess we'll find out and uh, no it seems like they accepted that uh, and then we can bridge over that uh, which it's not going to let us and that's not going to do that so it's going to be real steep we'll have to come and fix that that meets up there uh, so we can go what I want that right there nope apparently not for fuck's sake what is it get rid of that for a sec thank you that's the connector I was looking for uh, and then we're going to want to make that a little bit more centered and we can grab that put it back Let's bring it right up to the correct height there we go that's our path across. So, and that connects those areas together. That's coming around that way. We can also have it so we have one that goes like right through the forest. Uh, so, if you want to take uh, a quicker route, a less scenic route, well, I guess it's still going to be equally scenic, just less river scenic. Also, very dangerous going through the forest uh, because of the fires. Uh, we could have that come in here and just kind of branch off that way. We'll uh, clean this up a touch move it uh, so we could have it so it curves a touch so it's a little bit of a smoother transition so that gives us a nice pathway through all of that uh, now we do need to deal with this fire so we have fire and we don't have the ability to deal with it at all period we need 6,000 population uh, the forest fire itself, uh, obviously we don't see the tree burned or anything because we do have options. How bad does this actually look? How much have we lost? Oh, that would be under the ugliness. Where did it go? I don't even, oh, no radioactive desert, I think. Uh, there we go. So that is right near the top, okay. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. So it looks like it probably started from one of the buildings. Because it already burnt through all right here and it looks like it's spreading outwards. Uh, and there's not a whole lot we can do about that. And considering uh, we don't see it normally, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm just hoping that our fire services will be able to mitigate this. Uh, we can delete some trees, but then, you know, we're going to have to visually deal with it. But, yeah, we don't really have a whole lot we can do. And we're not losing all of our industry. I'll just purge those. 
So worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, again, we don't. There's nothing we can really do until we have six thousand population anyway. So, uh, yeah, not worrying about it seems like the option. Uh, so we'll just pretend that doesn't exist. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, okay, and then we can also grab our pathways again. Uh, so that's coming through here. Okay, we actually should get our roads in first. Um, I really wish I could. I can't even like sneak it mostly off screen. It's just kind of here. I have no idea why that button doesn't work, but whatever, whatever. Uh, so we can also get ourselves a round of that technically gets rid of it. I can go into here. Uh, although that might be a little bit large. Uh, so we can have that. Why is it at 40? We were using what 30 before. Uh, and we're going to want that. That uh, we're going to need that a little bit further now. And we're going to want snapping on. I can go to about there. That should be somewhat centered. Uh, and then we can grab that. And that'll be around uh, a coal sack. And that path. So we got to plan for this path to some degree. Um, so if we have... We could also have it so the pathway goes along the river on both sides. So yeah, we'll uh, leave some space here. The water is making its way in. It, I think it's still going to be screwed. So I don't want to build too close. Um, so yeah, we can uh, keep ourselves a bit of space. We'll run that kind of along like this. Uh, keep it straight. Probably be worth it to fix that. Uh, snapping, please. Because yeah, we want that to be straight relative to that. Uh, and then we could grab that for curving it. That for curving all of that and then that will come along this way and then come down kind of just doing its thing coming down here through the center meet up with that uh, and then we'll see about getting it somewhere into the farms as well uh, but for now that'll do uh, and then we can have this nothing too fancy uh, we'll grab some squirrely because we don't really need anything to be too I guess firm of a grid uh, we can have that whoa, just a tiny bit over there and that can meet in there as well we have a spot in here so yeah we'll still do the school there is there anything that we're going to want a larger this might not be a bad spot for a high school but then we still don't really need any higher is that forest fire gone yes looks good Okay, um, yeah, so we don't really need higher education at the moment. That's mostly when you get to cities and higher tier, like offices, stuff like that, where you actually need education. Uh, so we could have that come in like that. And then maybe to help break this up a little, also have that kind of... We could just do a couple cul-de-sacs off here. That way we don't have just a you know, clean hard edge on that. Um, just actually, we'll keep it squirrely. So I can come off something like that. A little bit of distance. We only do two of them. So I can come off a little bit further. Actually, you know what? Let's uh back that off slightly. So we can have one going off that way a bit. And one off that way a bit. We'll see how that turns out. So if we do one... I gotta remember, it's already open. There, there there give people a nice little edge area to live on where they don't have to be in the busier part um and then so is there anything else that's going to be important to think about when we're filling this i don't think so it's not a whole lot to really think about uh because we already have our school spot figured out so for the most part we're already good uh, it would be nice to have a downtown so i guess that'd be along our main road and along the river would be the most logical spot uh so yeah we can just run this kind of like this uh we could do another bridge we already have three so yeah bridges in real life you don't tend to get a lot of them because they're expensive as shit to build 
Uh, so we'll leave that there for a sec and have this come off. Have this run. So the river's going to have to be larger. This is where I kind of wish evaporation wasn't a thing. But then you... Yeah. We do want evaporation. It's just... Yeah, there's some... There's sometimes that it's kind of a pain in the ass. Because the only way to make this work better would be to increase wide the power... Oh, yeah, we stopped it there. Uh, the only way to fix this would be to make it wider up here. That way we get more flow. Or, like I said, we can add some water sources as well. That way we're creating water as we go. But then that's not going to make it so the river constantly flows. It'll make it so there's, you know, a water source and it flows both ways from that. So we could add somewhere like... Here, where it's starting to dry out a little. Get ourselves a pond and a small river coming in here. That way we can refeed. And then that one's going to need a lot of work. Because you also don't want your... Like, that's the problem. There's a minimum size you could do a river. It would also help if we had a... Uh, oh, this is filling up. See, that's why I don't want to touch it. Because things do change over time. So maybe I'll just leave it. I know this is flowing up this way. But we'll just leave it and see what happens over a longer period of time. Because if this continues at its current rate, we're basically up to where we should be. It just takes a while for it to get there. So, yeah... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll give it some time. I'm just impatient. Okay, so then this could come into here. Uh, and then from in here, how do we want to do this? Um, preferably a somewhat dense system. Uh, so we can work from this and kind of have a non... It's a grid, but also a squirrely grid. Uh, grid. <laughs> a squirrely grid. That's exactly the words I was looking for. A squirrely grid is what I was actually looking for. Uh, so I could kind of come in through here. Uh, we can have that one there straight. And then that gives us a bit of a weird... So if we go across this way, it'd probably be the most logical way to deal with that. Uh, I don't want that one. I want... Okay, we'll work from that side then. Uh, straight, please. Right in there. There we go. We also have a bit of over here to deal with. And we got to get power and water. Oh, there's always so much. Um, so, let's leave some area in here. That way we can have a bit of a forest spot. Uh, and then this... Yeah, we still have all down here that we can use. It would be nice to have a touch of it. Uh, so let's not touch that for a sec. We can have this. So this would be nice to connect up to that highway as well. So we'll have that just come uh, straight off of that for a little bit. We'll grab ourselves a squirrely road. Have that come right up to there. We can have that come... Not in. What we're going to do instead is go up to here. And have that come a little bit further out. That way we can reach up to that. Um, and then from here, we do have a spot in here. So we can have an S-Bend looking thingy. See, <laughs> again, don't think too hard about it. And things tend to work all right. I don't want that snapping, though, because it's causing me an issue trying to get this to fit. Uh, and yeah, we could have that just curve into here. Uh, and we will grab move it to kind of... Uh, there you go. A little bit out of the way. There we go. Something like that. Uh, and we'll do a little bit more right here, just so I can come through. Uh, we could use snap on again, please. And I could just go straight up into here, and I could just go squirrely in. Oof. Game saving noise throws me off. Every time. And that didn't do what I was hoping. Uh, so I can go straight and then curve in. We'll use move it to tidy it up. There we go. Something like that. And then in here we could do some uh, roundabout. Uh, I keep calling them roundabouts because they technically are, but cul-de-sacs. Uh, because that'll make it so uh, it's not as dense as, uh, you know, the normal road system. But it'll also provide 
housing and some less dense so we could get some trees and stuff in there uh, to make it so it looks a little bit better. This river is completely dead now? No, it's just the water is really thin. Yeah, and that's too low for my likings. And it's completely dead here. Yeah, it's going. How are you looking now? Still at a good height. That's flowing in. Okay, okay. So we'll have to do a pond or something. Um, so if we want to do a pond, it might be worth to do like one kind of like here. Another one like here to feed into that. And one somewhere like up here to feed that part. And one kind of like here to feed in that way. Just so we could keep our rivers fed enough. We could also do one like right here. And then bridge over and have that come like right in through here. Which shouldn't be that hard to work with the road that we got there. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, we'll deal with it in a second, though. Uh, no, we won't. We'll do it now. Fuck it. We're doing it now. Um, so, we're going to need some terror. What time are we at? Oh, my God. It's 40 minutes already? Okay, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll actually get some population coming in because we do need... Oh, we lost more people. We lost, like, 400. Uh, is there anything weird? Or is it just the natural decline that does tend to happen? Those are normal, right? Yeah. Of course, these are all just uh, mostly one and two residences per home, uh, which is expected. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, so uh, we can also have some roundabouts off this way as well. Uh, so we'll grab just our road, and we'll do... I like these splits. We can have that come in. It's kind of like a gated community. We could do gated communities, too. Uh, not that in real life I would want to live in one, but uh, they can look pretty alright. Uh, so you can have something like that come up and we'll grab Squirrely for this one coming off. Have yeah, that come off like that way a bit and in. Uh, and then we can have from this intersection here something like that. And you can branch off like that. Now uh, we can have one that branches off a bit right there. We could branch off a bit like that. And we'll grab double click and I double clicked. I didn't do it. There, 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 and there. Okay. Okay. And then we need to get shit moving. Uh, so water got none. Didn't expand it off camera. That's fine. <laughs> Let's get it in. Uh, we got to keep the game running though because I we need a fuck ton of cash. Uh, one thing I can do as well, which wouldn't really hurt a whole lot, is I just run the game off camera. Uh, that way we can get some money coming in. Um, I know that we could also raise taxes. I don't like raising taxes. I tend to just leave them. If anything, I drop them over time. Uh, main reason for that is that your taxes uh, dramatically affects what your demand is like. And more often than not, you want more demand than you do money. Um, even if it is just a temporary financial thing. But, yeah, yeah. You know, we can just wait. I don't really have too much of a problem with waiting. Uh, and also, uh, if we do a farming episode, maybe not next episode because now we got, you know, stuff I'd like to finish up with this and the ponds and stuff. Yeah, now we got a problem. Um, we can just let the game run while we're doing farms. I just have a tendency to pause things while building because it drives me nuts having things happening without being able to see things happen. Uh, but that's also just a me thing, because I'm weird sometimes. But you can come... Just a little bit too far. Something like that. I don't know if that was far enough to lock on. It's too far. That's fine. I'd rather too far than not far enough. Sure, something like that. It's not actually giving me a lock on period. Uh, okay, so that's good. And then we need to get our power brought over as well. Overall, we have more than enough power. Because that last expansion of solar we did was quite large. Uh, and then we should have a power pole right to this one here. Uh, so we'll bring that... No snap, please. We'll bring that across here. And we're going to have a pretty big population boom happening. Because we're going to fill in a lot all at once. 
uh, get ourselves a bunch of commercial in there and we'll just place the school and I'll do a you know the yard fence off camera because uh, that's not really a big deal because it's not like it gets really decorated with much of anything uh, right there please okay so and that comes in right to the edge and we are probably gonna need a garbage service over here as well uh, but there we go that's good uh, we'll grab ourselves residential big bucket fill all this in uh, probably best to use a brush at this point because it's gonna be quite a bit going on here uh, not in the middle please okay so we'll let that uh, this should fill in quick enough where the power is going to connect we just got to keep an eye on our demand situation um, we'll leave that undone because we're going to want to get a path in there. Okay, so I could come into about there. Uh, and then we are going to have commercial coming in here. Now we have to... Yeah, we'll get the commercial in first and we'll figure it out. So this is going to kind of make its way here. Uh, back that up a touch. So we have a spot for a walkway. We can have our main downtown strip right in here. Uh, and these do weird things, so we want that. This is where a bucket's more useful. Stop, don't build yet, thank you. We'll get in here. And there. Uh, and then we can also have... So that's going to be kind of treed off a little. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, and then we need some corner stores and just smaller things. Uh, we are going to need power. Apparently that did connect, so I'm not too worried about it for right now. Um, so we have some corner stores and small, just, you know, bits of commercial that will help, uh, keep the demand moving. So we have a little bit over here, small, small kind of plaza, strip mall type deal. I know that really we don't get a strip mall, but it is, you know, imaginations to a degree. Uh, we can have the entrance of this area with some commercial, because it is, you know, just off the highway. Um... We want to do that one too. No, we'll leave that. We'll leave that as just a residential entrance mostly. Um, and we can have a corner store. Where's a good? There's a good lot for a corner store. Yeah, corner store over here. Yeah, sure, right there. Okay, it's one of those things. You don't think too hard about it. You just kind of do, and then it doesn't really make a difference in the grand scheme of things. A couple random commercial as you go because people have like in home again using your imagination people run businesses out of their homes so you can do stuff like that and then we can do a do we just want to paint the whole thing what would the issue of that be quite a bit um so what we'll do is we want that not being there so we get all oops that's not gonna work all of this Right there, there's no issues. That shouldn't replace anything that we currently have. Uh, we can get all in here. So we'll do this side first, of course. Uh, we don't have enough workers. That's fine. It's not really a problem. Because all this will provide the workers we need. Uh, we are on the fastest speed, too. Okay, and then we want this being from here. Uh, into here. We're going to have to clear out the center of our cul-de-sacs as well. Because I just noticed those did get filled in. Um, yeah, we don't want that one there, so we need the brush. No tiny houses inside the middle, please. And we'll get ourselves some forest in. Uh, and then I guess next episode we'll work on filling that in and, you know, small ponds and stuff to help feed these rivers a little bit better. That'll probably be the best way to go about this. And you guys are going to complain about that. So yeah, we won't touch the other side of the fire already? You literally just built it. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd prefer that to burn out before we put a forest in. <laughs> we can't just destroy it. Okay, fine, we'll get our services right now. Ooh, what's that? That is a too big. Okay, so we can have ourselves a medical clinic. So uh, you guys have a clinic, you guys have a clinic, you guys over here are going to get a clinic. Uh, so we could have that kind of in the downtown section. And then we're going to need fire services. Uh, this should get us up to our 6,000 as well, so we'll be able to protect our forest a little bit better. Uh, so we could have our fire and police over on this side of the river. We're going to want a power pole cutting across, so that way this side gets some power. 
Okay, and then we're gonna need a school. We don't necessarily need a school. It's not really a big deal if you educate or not in the grand scheme of things. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to also get power cutting across all the bridges. Just so as we go, everything gets dealt with. That has one. Uh, that's a walkway. We don't want one there. We'll get one here. I'll go to about there. Uh, and then we'll grab this walkway and continue that on. Finish that up. Get our forest in. Then call that a day. Um, so we're going to want that. No squirrely. Yes, yeah, squirrely rather. That could come into there. Comes along the river. Nice and clean. That's going to make its power pull in the way. There we go. Not in the way. Um, so then this is going to be coming through the forest. Uh, so I could kind of come up along here. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, it'll just kind of curve inwards. And again, that's all going to get forested, so it's not really an issue. Uh, and then just kind of make its way following the road for a little bit. And then it's going to come in and across. And again, we don't get a crosswalk here. No one's really going to be using these in the grand scheme of things, but they will exist. Do we want it coming into, like, the center? That'd be a logical thing to do. So right there, have this one come in there. We'll grab, move it to kind of make those make a little bit more sense. There you go. Uh, so then that's coming up that way into there. We have that going all across there. Um, for now, that'll do. We'll get our forest. So we want, uh, for one, less things up on the screen. Thank you. And then forest gets rid of that too. And we want that to be our dark forest brush. And we can do that as a circle. We want our uh, auto density is fine. We don't want strength that high because it is pretty strong. We don't want size super large, a little bit larger than that. Uh, and then that's going to be, so we are going to have farms in here. So we're just going to kind of... Clean this up. We want a relatively similar density overall. That way it's not any clear divide. Uh, this river is going to have to get cleaned up a touch, which isn't really a big deal. And this is all going to just border right up against it. I can go a little bit larger. And we can pause it so we don't get a bit of a stutter when this is trying to figure itself out. We'll just kind of spread this out, have it a little bit scarcer. Uh, please no. Thank you. I'll just put that right up against it there. All right. And that's a nice mixed forest too, so it looks fairly good. The color's not exactly the same the whole way. Uh, and then we are also, obviously we don't have this figured out quite yet. Uh, we'll save that for next episode then. Because I was going to say, we are going to have forest in that area right in there, but I also don't want to do things that are just going to have to get deleted. We can also kind of spread this out a bit too. That way it doesn't look as jaggedy. Oh, here's a, oh yeah, we got to be careful here. If we go too far with the forest and then we'll destroy our power. Although with the wind, it's not really that big of an issue anymore. Um, so that's good. That's good. We have another community up and running. And then we have farms that are going to be all within this section, this section, along here, there. And in here, we're, it's going to be some, you know, patches of forest and we're going to have ponds and stuff like that. That commercial tried. Didn't go well without power. Uh, that's good. That's coming out nicely. So uh, we'll go ahead and end it off here. So yeah, next episode we'll get this all in here set up. Uh, and then we'll get ourselves some ponds to help feed these so we can have this working as intended. Which will help keep this filled. Because once we start having uh, this feeding somewhere where we actually have evaporation going on, then we're still going to end up in a situation where it will drain very quick. Uh, so having the excess water flow would definitely help. But uh, we'll deal with that as we, you know, progress. But yeah, getting uh, a pond probably like right here and then feed into here. Mm, maybe another one for up here too. And this is going to need a couple of them because that's a pretty, that's a longer river too. 
Uh, so maybe like one up in here, one over here, one down here all feeding in will help keep it, you know, filled. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, either way, for now, that is going to be it. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See ya.